நீங்கள் பார்த்து கொண்டிருப்பது உங்கள் அற்புத ரேசு டிவி சென்னையின் முதல் கத்தோலிக்க சேனல் வணக்கம் என்னோட பேர் நெல்சன் ஆந்தனி ஜோக்கியம் அற்புத ரேசு டிவியோட ஃபவுண்டர் இப்போ நீங்க பார்த்து கொண்டு இருக்கும் இந்த வீடியோவை ஷேர் பண்ணுங்க நான் உங்களை ரெக்வஸ்ட் பண்றேன் நீங்க ஷேர் பண்ணணும்னா பக்கத்தில் இருக்கிற சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பட்டனை வந்து நீங்க கிளிக் பண்ணுங்க அது மட்டும் இல்லாமல் மறக்காமல் அந்த பெல் பட்டனை வந்து நீங்கள் கிளிக் பண்ணிங்கன்னா ஒவ்வொரு வீடியோ நாங்கள் அப்லோட் பண்ணும்போது நீங்கள் அந்த வீடியோவோட ஒரு இன்டர்மேஷன் உங்களுக்கு வந்து சேரும் ஸோ அற்புதர் ஏசு டிவியோட ஐயாயிரத்துக்கு மேலான வீடியோஸை நீங்கள் உங்களோட லேப்டாப் கம்ப்யூட்டர் இல்லை ஃபோன் மூலியமாக நீங்கள் அப்பப்போ இன்டர்மேஷன் வந்து நீங்கள் அதை பார்க்கலாம் அது மட்டும் இல்லை நீங்கள் ஷேர் பண்ணும்போது இறைவன் சொன்ன மாரி பிதாசுடன் பரிசுத்த ஆவின் பெயரில் உலகம் எங்கும் நற்செடியை அறிவீங்கள் அதே போல் நீங்கள் ஒவ்வொரு வாட்டி ஷேர் பண்ணும்பொழுது நீங்கள் உங்களோட சார்பில் நீங்கள் ஆண்டவரோட நற்செடியை கொண்டு போவீங்க தேங்க்யூ மறக்காமல் இந்த வீடியோக்கு கடைசியில் இருக்கிற அந்த அக்கௌண்ட் டீட்டெயில்ஸ் இருக்குது உங்களுக்கு வேணும்னா நீங்கள் உங்களால் முடிஞ்ச காணிக்கைய நீங்கள் தரலாம் நன்றி உங்களோட அற்புதர் இயேசு டிவிக்காக நெல்சன் ஆந்தனி ஜோக்கியம் தேங்க்யூ
okay, that you have an image of a punishing God, a fearful God, a God who will just waiting to punish us. Second image of God is what Jesus came to reveal. God as Father. That's a big shift from the Old Testament to the New Testament. Old Testament, unapproachable God. That's why there was a way even in the temple and the Ark of the Covenant, which was the highest form of the presence of God, the Ten Commandments on stone, which God gave, was well protected. Various layers of protection. And only the chosen ones, Moses, Aaron, could approach it. Others were, had to be far away. And you read also that the persons who tried to touch it were killed. And that's why when Jesus died, the curtain in the temple tore, that is to divide the Old Testament and the New Testament. And God becomes an approachable God. So what image of God we have is very important. If we have a very disturbing image of God, for example, in Africa, it's very difficult to talk about God Father. Many children are born of well dog. They don't even know who's a father. To talk about God as our father there, it's a little difficult. So most of us have gone through a good childhood where we have a good relationship with our dads. Now that is also very important. Otherwise, uh, when we say God is father, my dad is such a bad man. The problem will be, you know? And if you also don't have a very good dad, you have to transcend it by reading the scriptures. You know who is my father? My father is my God in heaven. So, what is the image personally I have made of my own God? Is a very, very important thing in life. So, who is the God we believe in? Is the first uh, talk of today. I won't be able to finish now. I will go from Mass. Parenthood is a memorial mass for Bernie, but Father Peter will come, I think, in the meantime. And then uh, Asya is also here. He celebrated the Jubilee of Mercy, remember? No? Beautiful year, especially in Parenthood, we made it very grand. The two pillars we go to Parenthood Church and get two statues we paint for this. Statues should not be worshipped, okay? All these statues are not for worship. Very clear. Catholic mind must be clear on this. Only two things we worship. What are the two things? The Bible and the Eucharist. The Bible you can worship. Because the word of God, the Holy Spirit resides in the word of God. So the Bible is not just a book. That's why we respect the Bible. But they are standing by car. We priests are what is known as a breviary. It's a breviary of the Psalms and the daily readings. We have to pray five times a day, morning, uh, four times a day, especially, or five, morning, afternoon, evening, night, and then we have lots of readings. So, five clusters of uh, Psalms and other scriptural reading. One day I kept it in the car. A lay person traveling with me, very holy person, she took that book and kept it on her lap. So she taught me, the lay person, that you can't even keep it on the car seats. So, so precious is the Bible. So how do you keep your Bible at home? Because I've seen homes where the Bible is kept with all other cluster of things. Like it will be in a shelf. There will be a normal nearby. So be very careful. The Bible is kept in a nice place. More important should be given to the Bible than to statues. So what is the meaning of statues? Statues stand for a representation. For example, you have these various statues you have not. Dominic Savi, St. Jude, St. Joseph, St. Anthony, St. Michael, they are present here. That is a reminder. But that statue is not so the more you pray in front, the presence becomes stronger. Okay, so this should be very clear, otherwise you will fall into sin, worshipping statues. This clarity must be there in our minds. Now uh, why I am starting with all this is we put two statues behind. One side, Mother Teresa, is a human compassion. The other side is divine mercy. 
beautiful statue, the mercy of God. So this is life. Life is made up of these two dimensions. One is God is a merciful God, and we in turn must become small mother Jesus. That is life. If we put the, these two things together, your life is problems are solved. Remember these two things. One is behind this we have the divine mercy. Remember that, that image of the mercy of God. Second is Mother's reason. Finding for any other sin. That is totally living a life for others. If you keep these two images in your mind as two eyes, the life is peaceful. Life is beautiful. Okay? So uh, I'm going to go through very fast next. Uh, we have a Pope who is also known as the Pope of Mercy. You know? Pope Francis talks a lot about mercy and the whole year was given to mercy. Next. Okay. Next, that particular picture for example, go back. The Pope is blessing a small girl. She will be losing all her, her capacities like hearing, seeing, smelling. One by one. She has got a particular sickness by which. So Pope gave her a special audience and the parents wanted her to meet the Pope as one of the wonders of the world. They were taking her to all the beautiful places in the world so that she can see a lot of beautiful things before she dies. Or not dies, before she loses all her faculties. And one of the places they came was to Vatican to meet the Pope. So the Pope is very famous for this. Since we don't have time, we go ahead. Okay, next. So remember Luke 6 36. Be merciful, shall we lead together? So three important words. One, Father. Our God is Father. Here we have Abba, Father devotion. Very beautiful devotion because everything should go to the Father. Jesus lived for the Father. So, about Father. So, that's the most important word. Merciful. God, Father is merciful. So, you also should become like God the Father. So, this is the heart of the Bible. The heart of the Gospel. Okay. There are some key sentences in the Bible. John 3, 16. God so loved the world that He gave His only Son. Then, Luke 36, 36. Be merciful as your father is merciful. So the face of Christ is mercy. The name of God is mercy. Just now we sang, mercy is falling. Mercy is falling means we are surrounded by the mercy of God. Next. Uh, so we'll come to a little technical details. In the Hebrew Bible, there are a cluster of words. Now, for example, Avaha, which means, uh, but the more important word is like a love between husband and wife. So if you take the book of Hosea, uh, scriptures, this is the word used. That is, how God does this is how a woman, a man, the woman who are united in matrimony should love. Should. Not as they love, no. Ultimate love between a man and woman. Uh, then there is another important word, Rahamin, which comes from the root word, Rathim. The people is pronounced like the French, all these R's and all very strongly. What does this, these words, root words stand for? They stand for the, the womb of the mother. Now the womb is the most beautiful place. That is, where a child is, born out of love. The child is given everything from the mother and the child grows. It's a beautiful process. You know, which mothers, unfortunately, we men don't go through this. But you women have the fortune of carrying a child. And this is a fantastic miracle. One of the greatest miracles of the world. One of the greatest wonders of the world. And what is the Hebrew Bible the original is Hebrew, no? So the language is very important. So for mercy, what are the very important words used are 
not engaged. That is going beyond maternity of ordinary people. That is the love of God. <laughs> I have loved you with an everlasting love. So I am constant in my affections for you. That is, a mother will not give up on a child. Even if she gives up, there's a beautiful story told of a mother who had a daughter. She was a single parent. Uh, she was abandoned by the husband. They were bringing up the daughter, so the daughter was going astray. And one day she had a phone call the mother from the police. Uh, Please come and pay the bail for your daughter. She has been caught with drugs, possession of drugs. So the mother rushes to the uh, to the police uh, officer and the police station and she pays the money and brings out her daughter and they go inside and take the car home. And the mother gives a little gift to her daughter. Imagine bringing out the person from the prison or the police station after a big crime of possessing drugs and she is giving a gift. So the daughter silently opens it. She finds a piece of rock. She gets a little angry. What is, what is this mommy? Big piece of rock. She says, okay, read what I've written. She takes the paper which was with a piece, small piece of rock and she reads. This rock is maybe a million years old. It will take me a million years to give up on you. It will take me a million years to give up on you. That is, uh, that is the love of God. It will take a million years for God to give up on us. And uh, that's why, next, uh, another important Hebrew term is to remember, Hesed, loving kindness of God, which uh, unites so Hosea 2, 19, 20. This Hosea is very important because very strong words of love you will find between a husband and wife used in his love for God. Another important word is emet, which means faithfulness. God's love is a faithful love. You may give up on God, but God will not give up on you. Uh, that's why God's love is like a chasing love. It's a chasing love. He won't leave you until you really throw home. That is the sin against the Holy Spirit. No? That's the only sin which God will not forgive ultimately is the sin against the Holy Spirit. When I think I know everything, I am in charge of my life, I don't need God, I don't need the mercy of God, that's the biggest sin they can do. Uh, the rest God will come after you. So, it's a faithful love, a steadfast love, a loyal love. So, Deuteronomy 431, Psalm 103, I told you about the Psalm, no? So, it's a love which will not give up on us. So, remember, it's a maternal and womb-based love. Second, it's a relationship, loving kindness-based love. Third, word image, which means a tenacious love. A love which will not give up. A love which is faithful even if you are not faithful. This is the love of God. This is the preciousness of the language in which these scriptures were written. Okay? We do not remember those words. Remember the concept. Uh, remember the parts, okay? That everything comes from deep within. That's why the stomach is important in many cultures, not because of the food which goes there. No, much more than that, it's life giving. It's life giving. Okay, next. In both the Greek translation, uh, okay, it's another word in Greek. These two are the most important languages. Then comes Latin, third language, no? Latin comes much later. Uh, so the whole word is another word, Christelaiso, Elio, God, Latin used to say, no? Kyrie, Elaiso, mercy, Elaiso, mercy. That is tender compassion of God, have mercy. Okay, next. So don't forget, Hesed, loving kindness, no Rahamim, the womb. And event, which is the mercy, okay, uh, fidelity of God. Next, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. So, mercy is the heart 
will be judged on mercy ultimately. Okay, next. We don't have time. We'll move. Go next. We'll come to Jesus, the New Testament. Move, move. So let's go ahead. Go. So the New Testament. Next, go to the previous one. Mercy continues from the Old Testament into the New Testament. That's why Jesus becomes a child. Whole process in the womb. So the Old Testament mercy continues. God could have just fallen down as a baby from heaven. No. Why was the womb chosen? Because of the concept of mercy in the Old Testament. So the love comes from the womb. And so this baby born is love supreme. This baby was born. That's why you can touch and praise the baby. God, that's why even the Eucharist, very important. When you are receiving the Eucharist, so many pieces without our knowledge fall on the ground and you walk over it. So many people walk over the Eucharist. But God built it that way. He becomes that. Humanity, broken for us, comes to the Eucharist. So it's a very important thing to keep in mind. Even the Eucharist and the baby was born. So that's why from the Old Testament, the whole process of mercy is passed on to the New Testament. Next. The Old Testament theme continues to be sounded. For example, in Magnificat, what does Mary say? Luke, first chapter, 50 onwards. My soul magnifies the Lord since God has had regard for my humble state. Henceforth all generations will call me blessed. God has been merciful not only to me, to the whole of Israel. That is very sent. Next. Similarly, the New Testament writers echo the belief that mercy belongs to God. God is a resource of mercy. Ephesians 2, 4, 1st to 2nd Corinthians 1, 3. For this reason, people can confidently cry out to God for mercy in time of need. Okay, next. God's mercy is displayed in Jesus. The great acts of mercy shown by God to the people of Israel finds its freshness in the face of Jesus. Okay? So Jesus becomes the face of mercy. Next. Next. So the expression of mercy in the form of charitable giving might be driven by wrong motives, but we see in God giving arms and space high above all other religious rules. Okay, this we don't have time. Supposing I have time tomorrow, I'll take this up. Next, we'll come to something more. So the specific way of showing mercy is praised in the early church. Next, next, next. Okay, let's uh, see this together. Jesus is the compassion of God and the face of God. The total and ultimate revelation of God as mercy. The concrete expression and embodiment of divine compassion. I told you, Latin, co-suffer. That is, suffer with the other person. Jesus calls God as Abba. Abba means daddy, as father. Intimate relationship connected to the womb. Love for the children of the Okay? So this is the beauty of Jesus. Next. So uh, whenever they, when Jesus, like he sees the leper, what happens to Jesus? The stomach gets upset. That's the word Greek word means. The stomach gets upset. When he saw suffering, that's why the beautiful parable of the Good Samaritan, Luke chapter 10. There are three people shown. The man who is hurt, almost dying, plus the priest, what does he do? Walks away. Second man, the Levite, man of the law, walks away. Who is the third person? Samaritan. The stomach gets upset. Otherwise, you won't do so many things. What are the things he did? The good Samaritan? 
spent time. Washed it. Poured oil. Washed it. Cleansed it. Bandaged it. Then he put sip on the donkey, on the whatever animal, and he takes him to a inn. He tells the innkeeper, kindly look after him. I have to go for an urgent work. But on the way back, I will stop here. If I have to pay anything more, I will pay that. So the only pays money for him. So when I am coming back, I will pay. Then only when you sum up. So if you see somebody suffering, you can either walk by or your stomach can get upset. Really upset. Sometimes, for example, like Sri Lanka, we can't sleep for some time. The mind is upset. That is how all our minds must work. Your mind must work like the mind of Christ if you are a real Christian. Not just walk as if nothing happened. No, that's why the Good Samaritan such an important aspect of God. So the Greek word used for Jesus, whenever he saw some people suffering is, stomach was upset. Jesus never performed miracles for show. The keep is in mind. There are certain pastors, for example, do miracles for show. No miracle should be performed for to be performed out of love, great compassion. Jesus looks to me, see those images now. Okay? Keep this in mind. What is the meaning of compassion? There's another Latin word. Let's go back. Misericordia. That's another Latin word. So two important things. One is, God means heart. Second is, mercy. A merciful heart. What should a Christian be? You should have a Merciful heart, misericordia in Latin language. Compassion already explained. Not two words. Come with the other, pati to suffer. Okay? So these are very important. Let's go to the next slide. So now we come to Jesus as the root of mercy. Here we see Jesus as a baby. This is mercy. He becomes a child to show us the face of God as a father. Next. Jesus, if you read Luke 4.18, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has given me the power to proclaim the good news to the poor, to set captives free, to give sight to the blind, all works of mercy. Okay? Next. Jesus had compassion on them, Matthew 14. When he looks at the people sitting there, what did Jesus have? The stomach was upset. That is compassion. Jesus has compassion on them. Jesus looking at us now is having compassion on us. What did the apostles say? What did the apostles say? Send them away. It's getting late. We can't feed all these people. What did Jesus say? Next slide. You give them something to What did the apostles say? God sent them away. What did Jesus say? You give them something to eat. That is, stomach is, these people are hungry. So, uh, we'll have a short break with this. So, we can also, have it a little something now or just a break? We'll have a continue. Okay. Ningal Patukon Dirpade, Ungal Arpuda Resa TV, Chennaian Model Catholic Channel. வணக்கம் என்னோட பேர் நெல்சன் ஆந்தனி ஜோக்கியம் அற்புட ரேசு டிவியோட ஃபவுண்டர் இப்போ நீங்கள் பார்த்து கொண்டு இருக்கும் இந்த வீடியோவை ஷேர் பண்ணுங்கன்னு நான் உங்களை ரெக்வஸ்ட் பண்ணுறேன் நீங்கள் ஷேர் பண்ணணும்னா பக்கத்தில் இருக்கிற சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பட்டனை வந்து நீங்கள் கிளிக் பண்ணுங்கள் அது மட்டும் இல்லாமல் மறக்காமல் அந்த பெல் பட்டனை வந்து நீங்கள் கிளிக் பண்ணிங்கன்னா ஒவ்வொரு வீடியோ நாங்கள் அப்லோட் பண்ணும்போது நீங்க அந்த வீடியோட ஒரு இன்டர்மேஷன் உங்களுக்கு வந்து சேரும் ஸோ அற்புட ரேசு டிவியோட ஐயாயிரத்துக்கு மேலான வீடியோஸை நீங்க உங்களோட லேப்டாப் கம்ப்யூட்டர் இல்லை ஃபோன் மூலியமா நீங்க அப்பப்போ இன்டர்மேஷன் வந்து நீங்க அதை பார்க்கலாம் அது மட்டும் இல்லை நீங்க ஷேர் பண்ணும்போது இறைவன் சொன்ன மாரி பிடாசுடன் பரிசுத்த ஆவின் பெயரில் 
உலகம் எங்கும் நர்சரியை அறிவீங்கள் அதே போல நீங்கள் ஒவ்வொரு வாட்டி ஷேர் பண்ணும்பொழுது நீங்கள் உங்களோட சார்பில் நீங்கள் ஆண்டவரோட நர்சரியை கொண்டு போடுங்க தேங்க்யூ மறக்காமல் இந்த வீடியோக்கு கடைசியில் இருக்கிற அந்த அக்கௌண்ட் டீட்டெயில்ஸ் இருக்குது உங்களுக்கு வேணும்னா நீங்கள் உங்களால் முடிஞ்ச காணிக்கையை நீங்கள் தரலாம் நன்றி உங்களோட அற்புடர் இயேசு டிவிக்காக நெல்சன் ஆந்தனி ஜோக்கியம் தேங்க்யூ